good afternoon students welcome to 6th standard social class students i hope all are safe at home by god's grace last class we have studied in civics unit 1 national symbols this class also we are going to continue the same lesson the rules to be observed while singing the anthem the rules to be observed while singing which anthem national anthem there are three rules first one this anthem has to be sung at a duration of 52 seconds so this national anthem our national anthem has to be sung at a duration of 52 seconds this is one of the rule second rule everyone should stand erect while singing the national anthem every citizen every citizen of india should stand erect while singing the national anthem third one one should understand the meaning while singing so as a citizen of india we have to know the meaning of the national anthem these three rules to be followed while singing the national anthem okay children next one national song national song so do you know first we have to read it on 27th december 1911 this national anthem was sung for the first time during the congress committee meet held at kolkata so this national anthem was first sung in the uh, congress committee meeting at kolkata okay next one national song the song vande matram composed by pankim chandra chatterjee was a source of inspiration to the people of india in their struggle for freedom so vande matram is a one of the brave bird vande matram okay so uh, on january 24 1950 then the president dr rajendra prasad came up with a statement in the constituent assembly the song vande matram which has played a historic part in the struggle for indian freedom so this is national song vande matram okay next one the song was a part of pankim chandra's most famous novel on and math okay next one national pledge national pledge india is my country all indians are my brothers and sisters is our national pledge okay in every schools every monday when the flag is no tricolor flag is no so that time every citizens of uh, india especially the students should take pledge this one india is my country all indians are my brothers and sisters is our national pledge the pledge was written by paidimari venkada subbarao in telugu so this national pledge was written by paidimari venkada subbarao in which state children telugu in andhra pradesh okay next one national micro organism national micro organism this is the micro organism this micro organism is declared as a national micro organism why it is declared as a national micro organism let's learn children the curd the curd which we consume every day is curdled from milk by a micro organism called lactobacillus delbrueckii okay this was accepted as our national microorganism in the year 2012 so when the milk it turned into curd with the with the help of the microorganisms that is called lactobacillus delbrueckii okay 
so this microorganisms is accepted as a national microorganism in the year 2012 okay next one children currency of india currency of india currency of india i n r indian rupees okay the indian currency i n r the indian currency is the indian rupees so this is our rupees indian currency the currency released by sir shah sir in the 16th century was rupiah in the 16th century sir shah sir they uh, released rupiah the name is rupiah this rupiah has been transformed into rupees this rupiah is transformed into rupees now we are using a rupees okay rupees the symbol of rupees is this the symbol of rupees is this symbol children this was designed by d udayakumar from tamil nadu in the year 2010 then this symbol now presently we are using the uh, rupees symbol no this symbol was designed by d udayakumar from tamil nadu in the year 2010 okay next one national calendar national calendar during the reign of emperor kanishka he began following a new calendar in the year 78 ce ad the year begins with the spring equinox which falls on march 22nd during a leap year it begins on march 21st our country follows this calendar so what kanishka emperor kanishka um, made or declared no so the same calendar we are using the famous astronomer magna shah headed the calendar reformation committee on 22nd march 1957 it was then accepted by the committee as our national calendar so we are using this calendar no this is also called national calendar the national symbols help in uniting the diversified sections of india and to instill patriotism next one national holidays national holidays first we are going to see independence day independence day every year august 15 is celebrated as the independence day to com- commemorate india's freedom from british rule every year august 15 is celebrated as the independence day okay children why we are celebrating independence day because to, to commemorate india's freedom from british rule from british people we got independence this hps day is also marked as a birth of the world's biggest democracy india so this is one of the national holidays okay on the day india gained independence mahakavi bharathiyar's poem aaduvome pallu paaduvome and it was sung over the air a i r air means all india radio by tk pattamal so because we got independent we got freedom from british rule so all indian peoples very happy to sing this song aaduvome pallu paaduvome okay a famous singer of carnatic music the celebration of independence day continues every year so every year august 15 the same independence day continue to celebrate the prime minister unfurls the national flag on the independence day at the red fort new delhi this is the red fort children every year august 15 prime our prime minister hoisting the national flag in this red fort okay next one children republic day next one republic day on 26th january on 
ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஜன்வரி இந்தியா வாஸ் டிக்ளேர்ட் ஆஸ் எ டெமோக்ராட்டிக் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் திஸ் டே இஸ் கமமரேட்டட் ஆஸ் த ரிபப்ளிக் டே ஸோ எவ்ரி இயர் ஜன்வரி ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் வி செலிப்ரேட்டிங் ரிபப்ளிக் டே த கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் கமென்ஸ்ட் ஆன் ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ்த் ஜன்வரி நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃப்ரம் ஆகஸ்ட் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவன் டு ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ்த் ஜன்வரி நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி த குயின் ஆஃப் பிரிட்டன் வாஸ் த ஹார்னரி ஹெட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா த டே இந்தியா வாஸ் டிக்ளேர்ட் ஆஸ் எ டெமோக்ராட்டிக் ஸ்டேட் ஸோ ஆஃப்டர் இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் ஸோ இந்தியா இஸ் டிக்ளேர்ட் ஆஸ் எ டெமோக்ராட்டிக் ஸ்டேட் த பிரசிடென்ட் பிகேம் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சிட்டிசன் ஆஃப் இந்தியா த பிரசிடென்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா பிகேம் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சிட்டிசன் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஆன் ரிபப்ளிக் டே த பிரசிடென்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஹாய்ஸ் த நேஷ்னல் ஃப்ளாக் அட் த ரெட் ஃபோர்ட் நியூ டெல்லி ஸோ த டூ நேஷ்னல் ஹாலிடேஸ் இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டே அண்ட் ரிபப்ளிக் டே தே ஹாய்ஸ் த நேஷ்னல் ஃப்ளாக் அட் ரெட் ஃபோர்ட் ஓகே on 20 on january 29 the third day of the republic day the celebrations are brought to an end with the beating retreat ceremony this is performed by the bands of indian army navy and air force so nowadays and all we have to see in the news channel tv channels and all after the celebration of the republic day is a beating retreat is a very big um, ceremony the bands of indian army indian navy and the air force together to celebrate this function okay so rashtrapati bhavan will be il- illuminated at 6 pm as a part of the celebration okay children next one gandhi jayanti gandhi jayanti the birthday of mahatma gandhi the birthday of mahatma gandhi the father of our nation the father of our nation was declared was declared was declared one of the national festivals one of the national festivals it falls on 2nd october it falls on 2nd october why children why we should celebrate the Uh, gandhi jayanti because gandhi jayanti got the independent from british rule so mahatma gandhi is called as a father of our nation so uh, that day gandhi so the birthday of gandhi is so celebrated as a gandhi jayanti the united nations declared october 2nd as the international day of non violence the other countries also they celebrating um, that october 2nd they called as international day of non violence okay children next one we are going to see what are the hard words we studied in this lesson independence glossary freedom from control of another country or organization that is called independence next one a republic a country in which the head of state is an elected person republic means a country in which the head of state is an elected person next one heritage heritage means the art buildings traditions and beliefs that a society considers important to its history and culture next one aquatic next one aquatic growing or living in or near water aquatic means growing or living in or near water aquatic all should know aquatic means water next astrophysicist astrophysicist means an expert in astrophysics astrophysics okay children next one let's recap tiger elephant river dolphin of ganges peacock 
கிங் கோப்ரா பேனியன் ட்ரீ மேங்கோ த கேஞ்சஸ் அண்ட் லோட்டஸ் ஆர் த நேச்சுரல் நேஷ்னல் சிம்பல்ஸ் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ சில்ட்ரன்